Before you can work as a teacher in the public system in Newfoundland and Labrador, you must be certified by this province's Department of Education. Additionally, if you intend to work elsewhere in Canada, you must first be certified in the province in which you obtained your first education degree. This means that all of you who obtain your B.Ed. from Memorial must obtain your Newfoundland and Labrador teacher certificate. If you then accept a position in another province or territory, you must apply for certification there as well, and will be required to submit not only a copy of your Newfoundland and Labrador certificate, but also, possibly, statements of professional standing and of teaching service. More on that in a few minutes. Let's start with the website. It's at this URL, but if you do a web search using NL teacher certification, it will be the top match. Most of the documents and information you need can be found here. Notice that the page is divided into sections. We will go directly here. This panel contains links to the documents you need, as well as a description of the other items. Let's start by looking at the application form. The top two sections are for you to enter your personal information. Be sure to check Initial Application. If you plan a move around when you will be applying, give some thought to the address you will provide, as it will be the address to which the printed certificate will be sent. In Section 3, be sure to list all the institutions from which you will be forwarding transcripts, and be sure to check the correct box or boxes. Those of you who completed any of our primary elementary programs will check the first two boxes. The certificate level you request depends on the program you take. For most of you, the table you now see superimposed will guide you. If you have additional degrees, diplomas, certificates, or even experience that you feel are relevant to your certification, it's a good idea for you to first contact teacher certification using the contact information at the bottom of the table. Don't forget to sign and date the application before moving on. Before we do, let's take a quick look at page 2 of the form. Page 2 of the application lists the items you need to include with the package. Notice also the address printed right at the bottom of the page. This is where you will mail the completed package. Note that the package will not include your transcripts, as they need to be forwarded from the granting institutions. We will revisit this address shortly, as you will need it for your transcripts. The next form we will look at is the fee schedule. Once again, add your personal information and take care to use the same mailing address as you did on the application. Let's scroll down and see the rest of the form. Make sure you check Initial Application. If you intend to work in a different province or territory, you will be required to provide a statement of professional standing so check this box if that's the case for you. As well, for teaching elsewhere, if you have any prior teaching experience in Newfoundland Labrador, you may also have to provide the Statement of Teaching Service. Note that if, later on, you apply for a certification in another province or territory, you will also have to provide a copy of your Newfoundland Labrador teaching certificate. Most jurisdictions will accept a photocopy, but you should check with the registrar in that location. If they require an original, you can also order an official copy by checking here. Check one of these boxes as appropriate. As already mentioned, if you are considering a move, 
give thought to the address you wish to use, considering that the application will not be processed until your program is completed. Note the link right here. It's where you submit the appropriate payment. Do it before applying. Once that transaction is done, you will be issued a transaction number. Be sure to write it in the correct place on this form, as well as to sign and date the sheet before moving on. And now, on to the criminal record check. There are two things to talk about at this point. First, make sure that your submission package contains an original Canadian criminal record vulnerable sector check, dated within six months of the application. The one you used for your internship may or may not have expired, so check the date and renew if need be. Second, you must also complete and include this confidential disclosure and criminal record check form. There's not much to be said about this except to fill it in. And tick the boxes. Then fill in the date, print it, and sign it. The application package needs to include a photocopy of your Canadian birth certificate. If you were born outside of Canada, you will have to provide evidence of Canadian citizenship, a permanent resident card, or a work permit. If you have changed your name, include proof of your name change. A photocopy of your marriage certificate, for example, would be fine. If you don't have your Newfoundland Labrador birth certificate, you can order one by visiting this URL. And if you do, click here to order the certificate. Finally, you must get your transcripts forwarded to teacher certification. Remember, these must be forwarded directly from the issuing institution, so do not submit your own. If there are pertinent transcripts from other universities, you will need to contact their registrar's office and have them forwarded to teacher certification. Here's how to do it for MUN. Start with self-service. Choose Student Main Menu, then Academic Information Menu, and finally Request Official Transcript. You have to change this drop-down and choose After Grades Are Released. For those of you who finish in the winter, it will be as shown, After Winter Grades Are Released. And for most of the rest of you, it will be After The Spring Grades Are Released. Now we must set who gets it. I will scroll down to see the rest. Notice that third party is now selected and I have to type in the address. Use the one found on page 2 of the application form, a snippet of which you can see now. It's the same as the one at the bottom of the criminal record check form. When you click Submit, depending on the status of your MUN account, you may be taken to a site where you will have to add funds to pay for this. The fee for the transcript was $10 when this video was prepared. And that's it. I recommend that you submit your application and request your transcript well in advance as these are mostly processed first come first served. There is an important exception. If you accept the job in a different province or territory in Canada and you forward proof of employment, then teacher certification will generally try and expedite your application if circumstances permit. One last note. 
If you have pertinent transcripts from other institutions, you should start getting them forwarded as soon as possible, as this sometimes takes a long time, and your application will not be processed until all necessary documentation is on file. Good luck with your application.